All right, just going to do a video showing that Islam is in fact a one-way ticket to hell. I'm going to show what the Bible says about Islam and what the Bible says about salvation and that Islam is a ticket to hell. Okay, Islam is an anti-Christ religion and you can call me Islamophobic all you want. This is what God's word says and God's word would be considered Islamophobic because Muhammad counts as a false prophet that would be condemned in the scripture. And the word of God is clear that Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. But first, let's look at what the Bible says about Islam. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 16, verses 11 to 12. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man, his hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. So, who is Ishmael? And by the way, Muslims, they are spiritual descendants and physical descendants in some cases too of Ishmael. And how is Ishmael described? A wild man against every man. Now that is an accurate description of most of the Islamic world. Okay, you can call me Islamophobic all you want. That's just what the Bible says. You, you might as well just call the Bible Islamophobic because this is what God's word says. This is what the angel of the Lord says. So I guess the angel of the Lord, I guess he was Islamophobic too. Okay. But my main point is that Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. That's why Islam is false. That's why Islam is a ticket to hell. That's why Islam is darkness. It's Luciferian false enlightenment. Okay, uh, John chapter 14, verse six. Turn there in the King James Bibles, if you have one. John 14, verse six. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Not through Allah, not through Buddha, not through Confucius, not through uh, uh, what, is it, what is Krishna of the Hindus, uh, not through the Talmud, okay, not through the false religion of Judaism, not through uh, Islam, through Jesus Christ. That's the way of the Father. Uh, John chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. John chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. Sorry, John chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. I do apologize. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. That pretty much throws out Muhammad, Confucius, Buddha, and all the other false prophets out there. John chapter 3, verse 36. Turn there. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Okay, the wrath of God abides on Muhammad. Okay, the wrath of God abides on every Talmudic Jewish false prophet. The wrath, the wrath of God abides on every false prophet out there, every false religion out there, because they don't believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Okay, and this is not just for Islam. This is also for the false blasphemous religion of Talmudic Judaism, which I'll be covering in a future video as well. That's a false antichrist religion as well. It is not the religion of the, the Israelite religion of the Old Testament. And I'll be, again, I'll be covering that in a future video. Uh, but uh, further, last scripture I want to go to, my further point, uh, Acts chapter 4, verses 10 to 12. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Okay, Peter's rebuking the Jews, saying, like, he's telling these, these Talmudic Jews, you've, you've crucified Jesus Christ, but he's the only way of salvation. Okay, so that's why I say this doesn't just apply to Islam, it applies to the blasphemous pagan false religion of Talmudic Judaism. So that's why I say Islam is false, because it denies salvation through Jesus Christ. It denies the only way of salvation through the, G through, through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, his atonement on the cross. Islam denies that, and thus Islam is a false way. It is a ticket to hell. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.